Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there, guys. It's Adam Martin here. And welcome back to another installment of The Now Review. And for some reason, I got this one a day early. I don't have a sponsorship or partnership with Now or anything. I think I just got lucky that my pre-order arrived one day early. So that's always nice. So let's take a look at the new album today, which is now that's what I call 70s Pop. So I must admit, when they announced this, I was a little bit disheartened because 70s is a decade now that... Well, it's hard to say now in the title. 70s is a decade that the Now brand has explored well over the last few years. You've had Now, that's what I call 70s. 100s hit 70s. Uh, 70s uh, Glam Pop, I think, was one. There's a lot of 70s albums. And the fact that this is pop, you know, the most arguably mainstream genre to go for. I think we're going to get a lot of repeats, a lot of songs that have appeared on other Now albums. I'm hoping to be surprised. I really hope I do. And of course, we have had the Now That's What I Call Pop album, which I personally thought was abysmal. You can check out that review if you really want to, but I don't think you're missing much if you pass on that one. But hey, let's hope this one changes things. And let's look at the cover. I do like the bright aesthetic they've gone for here, like lots of bright blues and yellows and pinks on here, very bright pastel-y almost. I guess that was a trend of the 70s. It was a very colourful decade for sure. And that extends into the font there. If you look at where 70s is, that's a very 70s-esque font. Obviously, Pop has the star in the middle. Like, like pop star, all that jazz. It's, it's very colourful. Not my favourite colour artwork, but I think the colour combination is nice. And along the bottom there, you have a list of artists that appear on here. People like ABBA, Elton John, Boney M. So that already gives you an indication. But as always, let's flip on over to the all-important track list across four discs. And let's see what we've got on here today. Okay, so CD1 kicking off strong with ABBA and Mamma Mia, classic 70s tune, of course. Elton John and Kiki D, their duet of Don't Go Breaking My Heart, wonderful song. Boney M, Rivers of Babylon, one of my favourite 70s songs. Donna Summer with Love's Unkind, of course, the Queen of Disco has to be on a 70s album. You have Brotherhood of Man with Figaro, which isn't their Eurovision song, but I haven't heard Figaro, so I'll be curious to listen to that one. You've got Bakra with Sorry I'm a Lady. Of course, their most iconic one was uh, Yes, I Can Boogie. Again, haven't heard this one. So, you know, good start. Songs I'm not recognising as much. John Paul Young with Lovers in the Air. David Soul with Silver Lady. Bonnie Tyler with Lost in France. Yeah, she did start in the 70s. It's Not It's a Heartache, which I'd argue is her most iconic 70s song. So looking forward to listening to that. And If You Can't Give Me Love by Susie Quattro is also on here. Just jumping over to CD2 for a second, you've got Dennis Roussos with Forever and Ever, Olivia Newton-John with Sam, yeah, she had hits as well, not just Grease and that, Dean Friedman featuring Denise Marsa with Lucky Stars, Carol Bayer Sager uh, with You're Moving Out Today, Mary Wilson with Telephone Man, Manhattan Transfer with Chanson Amour, Simon Park Orchestra with Eye Level, uh, Milk and Honey with Hallelujah, which of course won Eurovision back in 19... Was it 78 or 79? One of those two years, for sure. You have The New Seekers with I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing in Perfect Harmony. Dawn feet Tony Orlando with Tie a Yellow Ribbon Around the Old Oak Tree. Uh, Dana with Fairy Tale. Now, I believe Dana was the Irish representation for Eurovision back in 1970. Not with this song, though. Okay, back to CD1. We've got Clout with Substitute. Blondie with Sunday Girl. Frankie Valli with Grease, of course, from the film of the same name. The Rubettes with Sugar Baby Love. Sweet with Blockbuster. Mud with Tiger Feet, great song that, great at parties. Wizard with See My Baby Jive. T-Rex with Metal Guru. Alvin Stardust with My Kukachu. The Jackson 5 with The Love You Say, very interesting because, you know, for 70s, you'd think they'd go for... The Love You Save was number one in the US. It's a big song for them. I thought they maybe would have gone for, like, ABC or I Want You Back or, or, the, or even, like, UK hits only, like Doctor My Eyes, things like that. But no, it's a good choice, The Love You Save. Billy Ocean with Love Really Hurts Without You. And the real thing with You To Me Are Everything, which is truly one of the best 70s songs ever. Just putting it out there. Finishing off CD2 then, we've got uh, Think I'm Gonna Fall In Love With You by The Dooleys. Guys and Dolls with You Don't Have To Say You Love Me. Is that a version of the Dusty Springfield song? I'll have to listen. Sally Oldfield with Mirrors. Alise, Alessi, Alise, one of those. Alessi Brothers with Oh Laurie. Liverpool Express with Every Man Must Have A Dream. The Osmonds with Love Me For A Reason. Peters and Lee with Welcome Home. White Plains with My Baby Loves Lovin', Middle of the Road with Chirpy Chirpy Cheep Cheep, and Stephanie De Sykes with Born With A Smile On My Face. So that's 22 tracks on CD1 and 21 tracks on CD2, so 43 in total so far. And a lot of songs I don't recognise, which for me makes this a very exciting album already. CD3 then, you have Christy with Yellow River, the George Baker selection with Paloma Blanca, 
Sylvia Rethammer with I Viva España. Brotherhood of Man with Save Your Kisses for Me. That's their Eurovision winning song in 1976. David Essex with Hold Me Close. Jigsaw with Sky High. Pilot with Magic. Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel with Make Me Smile, Come Up and See Me. Silk with Forever and Ever. The Bay City Rollers with Give a Little Love. Donny Osmond with Puppy Love, one of his big solo hits. Michael Jackson, solo hit again with Rockin' Robin, which was a big hit here in the UK. I think that got, was that top five over here? Pretty sure it was. Althea and Donna with Uptown Top Ranking. Janet Kay with Silly Games. Tears on My Pillow by Johnny Nash. Mungo Jerry with In the Summertime, very big song, still remembered a lot today. The mixtures with the push bike song, which people either seem to love or despise. So take your pick on that one. Let's jump over to CD4 for a second. You've got the Wombles with the Wombling song because it was the 70s. Of course you have the Wombles. Boney M again with Ma Baker, a great song from them, by the way. Village People with YMCA, How Could You Not? Hot Chocolate with So You Win Again. ABBA here again with SOS, another big hit for them in the 70s. 10cc with The Things We Do For Love. Terry Jacks with Seasons In The Sun. Paper Lace with Billy Don't Be A Hero. Now I've heard that song. Billy Don't Be A Hero. Don't be a hero. I think that was a one-hit wonder. Pretty sure it was. Anyway, Smokey with Living Next Door to Alice. Like that song. Uh, Slade with Far, Far Away. Uh, Sweet with Teenage Rampage. Now back to CD3. We've got Blue Suede with Hooked On A Feeling. If you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, you know this one. Dollar with Shooting Star. Marshall Hayne with Dancing In The City. Patsy Gallant with From New York to, to L.A. George McRae with Rock Your Baby. The Drifters with Kissing In The Back Row Of The Movies. Kenny and The Bump. Barry Blue with Dancing on a Saturday Night, Paul Nicholas with Dancing with the Captain, Lee and Leo Sayer with Long Tall Glasses. Lovely. So let's just finish off CD4 and this whole album entirely. So we've got Sparks with Something for the Girl with Everything, Sailor with A Glass of Champagne, The Bay City Rollers with Remember, Sha La La La, uh, Shawaddy Waddy with Under the Moon of Love, wonderful song, one of my favourite songs of the 70s for sure, Darts with The Boy from New York City, Racy with Some Girls, Pratt and McLean with Happy Days, Mud, like with, uh, with Oh Boy, John Travolta with Sandy, which of course is from Greece, Mr. Big with Romeo, and finishing off is Wings with Mull of Kintyre, which people either love or hate. So that's 92 tracks in total. Not quite 100, but hey, 92 tracks across, across four discs. That's a pretty good bargain if you ask me. So yes, as mentioned, 92 tracks across four discs, so you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, we'll talk more about whether maybe it's worth it or not in just a little bit, but as we always do, let's open this sucker up. What have we got on the inside? So, oh, adverts, lovely. So what's also available? You've got now Glam Pop 70s, now Disco Classics Boogie Nights, now that's what I call Punk and New Wave, and now Decades of Soul. Good choices to outline, I guess, because a lot of those songs were rooted in the 1970s. Uh, all of these have now reviews to them, so you can check out the now review playlist, all those individual episodes. We cover each and every one there. And also you can follow now on all their social medias and you get a better look at the brightly coloured stars back there, which I think actually looks really cool. That's very glam pop, actually. And the disc, so disc one is orange with like red pink stars. Disc two is pink with yellow stars. Oh, sorry for the noise there. Uh, disc three is blue with orange stars and disc four is purple with yellow stars. So yes, four discs total, 92 tracks, really good value for money if you're just going off tracks alone. And that's how the discs look. So of course, the question as always is, is this album worth your time and worth your money? Well, first of all, if you're a big 70s fan, particularly of the mainstream pop stuff, this is probably going to interest you somewhat. I must admit, I was quite surprised. You know, a lot of as I said, Now has done 70s albums uh, a lot in the last few years, particularly like the last five, six years. And I was really expecting a lot of big hitters. But for me, I'll admit the 70s isn't my forte. It's not really my decade that I prefer. But uh, there's a lot of songs across these 92 tracks that I don't recognize, which for me is actually, I find that quite exciting. It gives me a lot of incentive to even listen to a full Now album if I don't recognize a lot of the songs on it, if that makes sense. So if you're like me and a lot of these songs intrigue you, then I'd say it's absolutely worth your money. However, if you know what they are and you know they're not for you, obviously stay away from it. If you've got other Now albums or other compilations that have a lot of these songs, you maybe don't need to get this one unless you're a completionist. But honestly, I, I must admit, for what I was expecting, I was expecting to be really disappointed. I've been pleasantly surprised and I can't wait to listen to this album in full. And I'm sure some of these 92 tracks are going to become new favorites for me. In terms of where you can get it, it's all the usual places. I got mine from HMV. Big up HMV, by the way, who sent this out. Well, they dispatched it, and it normally comes on release day, but for whatever reason, it arrived a day early. So, big shout out to HMP and Royal Mail, I guess, for doing that. 
And uh, yeah, you can get it from HMV, you can get it from Amazon, you can get it from your like independent music retailer if they still stock CDs, some supermarkets if you're lucky, all the usual stuff. And it retails for about £10 as, they, as these new ones seem to do. But that's all for this installment of the Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like on this video. It'd be really appreciated. And subscribe. We'd love to have you aboard here at AMTV. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show, and a special thank you to Macra, Hux Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Danton, The Broken Kit Suminoid, to Bose Crotz, Globe of Reviews, Trev Hughes, Derek Chambers, Sean Nock, Bailey Green, and DSTV New Zealand, our AMTV staff members.